welcome everyone to our Friday fun video. I know this is different. It's different for me. It's different for you. It's different and it's good and we're going to have fun. So let's dive into it. As you can see from the title thumbnail, this video is all about 10 DIY crafts for Mother's Day. Mother's Day is coming up in two days now and we might not be able to go out and get our moms the gift that she deserves. So I have done the research. I have come up with 10 crafts, DIY crafts for Mother's Day that you can do at home with resources you have around you. I promise they're simple because if you know me, I'm not a crafty person by any stretch of the imagination, so these are simple even for me. So let's get started um, and transition to our first one. So. I have a rock. Rock I just found out in my backyard. I'm going to paint it as a portrait of my mother. So all you need is a rock, some paint supplies. I have all kinds of paint here. Paintbrush, some water, clean surface, and some patience. And let's get into it. Okay, so what you're going to see is a jump cut to when I get to the finished product. I uh, will say for time purposes, I'm only going to do one side of it. I know I have a bunch of other sides, but just for the sake of time, I'm just gonna focus on one side. You are more than welcome to do the entire thing. And, all right. So that only took me like three minutes. It's a very simple project, but <laughs> forgive me for a little bit of uh, screw up. I haven't painted it a bit. So, but there you go. Simple. So, that's a first, the first of ten. We're going to go through ten of these. So, sit tight. We're going to jump cut. Transition to the next one. Your mother's like mine. She loves to read. So, what I'm going to do... So all you need for this actually is origami paper. I'm just going to use computer paper, uh, scissors, glue. All right, so I'm going to walk you through the process, go step by step. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, I will have links to all the crafts down in the description. Um, if you're watching on Facebook, I'll try and post prior to the video releasing um, all the lists of websites. That way you can go to them as well. So that way you guys can follow along with me. Um, just as easily. So, uh, as I mentioned, you just need origami paper. I'm using computer paper. We'll see what happens. Uh, scissors, glue, craft sticks, which are like popsicle sticks, which I have right here, full pack, and a uh, permanent marker. So, I'm just going to use colored markers. So, here so we're going to let's start with the next craft the origami heart bookmark. Now, what I'm going to take you through is the instructions. I tried doing it myself and have had issues with it. So instead of struggling and getting frustrated over not being able to do it, I'm just going to walk you through the tutorial found on thatkidscraftsite.com. So before you get your supplies, they have some tips for you. Have a flat surface. Uh, be patient. Choose the right kind of paper. So I'm thinking that's where I fell apart on. Uh, start with the simple creation and have fun. So. Let's dive into it, as I mentioned, or let's dive into it. The supplies you'll need is origami paper, scissors, glue, a craft stick, permanent marker, um, and permanent markers. So what you're going to do, they recommend that you take a piece of paper, your origami paper, and go and trim it to 3x3 three three inches. Um, it doesn't have to be origami paper, but that's what they're recommending. Uh, if you want to make it larger, that's fine. It just that needs to be a square. So step one is start off with your square. Place it diagonally in front of you. Bring the top point down to the middle and then fold it. Then you bring the bottom point up to the top of the paper, then fold it. Then you're going to fold the right side of the paper here towards the middle. Then you're going to fold the left side in towards the middle. Then you're going to flip it over. Fold the top points down. So these points here, you're going to fold them down. Tuck the bottom points in right here. Glue everything together. Let it dry. And in the meantime, what you're going to do is take one of your popsicle sticks, you're going to color a design, make it pretty, and then when the popsicle sticks 
and the hearts are dried, you glue the heart to the end of the stick, and there's your bookmark. So there you go. Very simple craft, um, but easy to do. So it's not for me. But that's okay. So let's move on to our third craft. The rainbow heart wreath. This one I am going to do. So this one's very simple. You don't need a whole lot of stuff. You just need colored strips of paper. Um, colored cardstock, a mini staple, or a ribbon, and paper cutter. I'm going to not do the ribbon and the paper cutter and all that. Um, if you don't have the colored cardstock, because we're at home and we shouldn't be going out for stuff like that, what I did was I went to Microsoft Word, made a table, and uh, got my own colored paper, which... Ah, my own colored paper so you can use the pom-pom you can use the yarn to hang it I'm not gonna do all that um, but all you do is you fold your paper in half so as so oops so and these are about one inch uh, one inch strips I didn't go too precise on the measurements but they're about one inch and then you're going to fold the two open ends together like like so and then staple like I said you might need a parent's help if you're not old enough to use a stapler they recommend a smaller handheld one this is the best I have so we're going to see what happens so I was able to do it it's a little crooked, but that's okay. And then you have your first heart. So you're going to repeat that process for as many hearts as you like. I have seven strips, so I'm going to do uh, all seven real quick. We'll jump back after I get all these stapled. So I have my hearts stapled together. You don't have to uh, use all, you know, you can use as many colors as you want. I think I said that already, but I can't remember. So um, what you do now... You're going to line your hearts up in a circle and then staple them together. Now, I only have seven, so and I'm, geometry was never my strong suit. <laughs> so this might not be the perfect circle. And that's okay. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then all you do then is take your stapler and staple them together. So you'll see in the jump cut to the final product. And then, boom! Just a quick little, like I said, I know it's not a perfect circle. Leave me alone. Um, but there you go. Just a quick heart wreath. Um, like I said, you can use uh, pom-poms and ribbons to be able to hang it up. Uh, I just don't have any of that here with me. So, but it's up to you. So, there we go. Our third craft is now complete. Let's move on to craft number four. Which is the Mother's Day book. Now, what I need to do, and hopefully editing Mark will remember this, is... Um, link or put it put it in the lower thirds the website for this because they need all the credit they came up with this idea I don't it's hello world co backslash post backslash kid made free printable Mother's Day book so you should see it in the lower third or have seen it in the lower third so what you could do is go to their website print out their template they have a template of pictures and little prompts that you can go through and fill in. Um, they do say to use uh, cardstock backing to um, create the binding. I'm just going to go very simplistic and use a stapler. Um, so, uh, yep, all you need is cardstock. They recommend you using these for cardstock. I don't have any. I just use printer paper. Um, the colored cardstock again for the binding and use a hot glue gun with parental supervision if you're not old enough to use it by yourself. 
and then the free printable book that's here down below on the website, which again, you'll see it in the link in the description of the other posts and will be in the lower third tier. So what I'm just going to do really quick is write my book. So, and then you'll, you will see the final product. So again, you might need an adult. I got my book written. So all I'm going to do is just staple close to the edge. You can see it. So just about maybe a half an inch down. And then, boom, we got a book. So like I said, there are pictures that you can use to, to uh, create the book a little bit better, make it look a little nicer. I didn't have, the, I don't have the time to do that myself. Um, but there you are. So we're moving on to craft five. which is the decorated golf ball. So you might still have your paints from earlier. Um, all you need is the golf ball and some paint. So, so, and then all you have to do is decorate it however you like. What I'm going to try and do first, because these are one of my golf balls, I'm going to try and paint over all the writing on it, because who needs to see that? So, bear with me. Like before, we'll probably just jump cut to the final product, unless I have something more interesting to say in the meantime. Which, knowing me, I probably don't. So I did what I could to white out all the wording that was on here. Uh, again, because I don't have a whole lot of time so I can get this edited and ready for you guys. Um, I'm just going to do a quick design. Or I'm just going to do word art because that's what I specialize in. And I'm just going to put, uh, just dip my finger in paint. So all I just said is you rock so that's it that's all i'm gonna do for this uh, so next we're gonna move on to is the fingerprint mugs so all you need is a white mug or a solid color mug thankfully i had two of these so and it's we're gonna make a butterfly I know, that's pretty cool. And with finger paint, like I already have. So I'm gonna use I'm gonna take a little bit from the suggestions that they have. I thought I had yellow. And they you one of the designs I see is yellow and blue. So I'm just gonna put some yellow on and put some blue. Ooh. And all I'm going to do, so what you'll do is you'll dip your finger in, and you'll just smudge your finger right there, so you got good fingerprint. Um, do what you can too to smooth it out as well. And then what you are then going to use is the blue for the wings. So it's four fingerprints. You put one in the top corner. You, well, you pretty much just put one in each corner. Now, I made the mistake of accidentally getting my blue mixed in with my yellow. But it doesn't have to be perfect, as I mentioned. And I'm going to continue mentioning that because some of us may feel that like, we need to be perfect because these are gifts for mom. But we don't have to be perfect. Oh, our mom loves us as we are. So it's a very poor design, but it's a rough idea of a butterfly. So you can continue to do this all the way around. I'm might I might do one more. We'll see. Let's see if I can. We'll see if I can do a little bit better design. So we're gonna dip and go yellow. And again, when you put the main body on, try and smooth it out a little bit. This is going to be a big butterfly. But that's okay. 
So all I did was just try and smooth it out. So and then I think I learned I need to put it outside of the colors. And then a little connect it together. Uh, I don't know if that one's better or worse. <laughs> Um, which is okay. And then I'm just going to do the same thing like I did before. Take the yellow. Let's draw the intent. And then, boom! There we go. So, simple ones. You might not have a clean mug at home. Ask your parents to see if there's old mugs that uh, you can decorate with like this. They do. The best idea is to use a solid color. Um, but if not, you can, I'm sure you're cr more creative than I am and can make do with what works. So, all right, we're over halfway done. Let's move on to the next craft. Which is the heart stamp. So for this, you're going to need a, either a toilet paper roll or, which, you know, in the times we're in, you should have at least one supplies. Okay, so what you'll need for this one is a cardboard roll, rubber bands, paint, and a canvas. Again, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna use printer paper because that's what's easily accessible to me. Um, so here's how you make your stamp. What you want to do is create a crease at the top end of your paper towel roll. So, well, paper towel roll is what I'm using, but whatever roll you're using. And what you're going to need to do is create the crease here and then squeeze at the bottom to kind of get your heart shape. So do your best. So, and what the rubber band is for, you will take your rubber band, I forgot where I put mine, and then wrap it around your heart just to hold that design for you in place. So I have my heart and then all you have to do is create your stamps. So what you do, you take the end, you dip it into the paint. So I had the oops. I had the blue paint ready and then just okay. Well mine's not working out all that well. So my Stamps are missing its top because the I I think I just bent mine in way too much, um, which is okay. It's, it happens, so um, I'm just gonna continue to try and do it to the best of my ability. Maybe I can get creative. Oh, I can. So what I kind of did is kind of following what we did for the mugs is I took my deformed stamp roll and I took my deformed heart stamp roll and made it into like a caterpillar. So what I'm going to do and then boom, I made a quick little caterpillar. So that's cute. You know, it's cute. So there you go. I didn't attempt it successfully, but I may do with the circumstances. So we'll just move on to, I think, the final one I'm doing. I have two more. No, I have, uh, I have one more more I'm doing and then three more I'm showing you, you in total. So so all you need is popsicle sticks and hot glue. So I've had my hot glue gun going. I have craft sticks right here and what we're making next is an earring holder. So and how do you do that? All you need is looks like with the design I'm, I'm seeing. Uh, looks like all you need is about five, seven, nine. All you need is 11 popsicle sticks. And I will walk you through the process of building this together. So what you're going to do is you're going to take two, two sticks, put them face down, keep them about probably four or five, well, a popsicle stick length apart. And then all you're going to do is glue them and put a dot of hot glue. It is hot glue that you do need to use for this. So again, if you do this craft, 
do it with a parent nearby or a guardian nearby so they can help you or they can do it for you and all that. So what you're going to do is uh, glue it like a washboard type stance, like a ladder. Um, you're going to do it about four. Um, you're going to do about four or five. I'm going to do five. Um, just because I'm following. And give yourself about a popsicle stick's width of space in between. So what I mean by that is... And I'll try and show you. About a popsicle stick's length in between. So I'm going to do... No, it looks like my, I might only have room for two more. So we will see. And they do recommend you can color these. Bef I, I would color these beforehand if you want to decorate them a little bit more. Um, that way they look prettier. Again, as I've said a couple times through, for time's sake, I don't have a whole lot of time to do that. So I am just kind of flying through this. Um, just so I can work on getting it edited and up for you guys in time. Um, all that kind of stuff. So, and it's not, not the prettiest, I'll admit that. But that's okay. It doesn't have to be. So, yeah, okay. So, I have... Oops. Uh, I have my five. Ignore all the strings. I'll clean it up before I give it to my mom, I promise. Um, what you're going to do now is glue uh, sticks behind the long ones at an angle so they arc like that. So that, that way they can stand up. So I'm going to attempt this. So you want to put your hot glue towards the tip and maybe on the tip of the the popsicle stick or the craft stick and then try and get them to stand up so and give it give it some time so it'll hold and again make sure you have a clean and flat surface to and what they also recommend is putting the putting them on a base so you'll glue um, You'll glue the longer sticks on a stand. So, and I'll show you what I mean in a second. What you'll do is put them on a stand like this. I'm showing you kind of quick because I'm not letting them dry. Um, but, yep, and then you'll just re replicate that for the other side. So, you'll see, you'll kind of see a jump cut to the final product. Okay. So ignore, ignore the messiness of the hot glue strings, but there we go. So it's just a quick little earring stand that you can make just using craft sticks and hot glue. You can probably get away with using regular glue too, um, but hot glue is recommended for craft sticks, definitely. So I'm going to move this off to the side. I'm going to keep it on the paper. Move this off to the side. And then we'll get to the last one I'm doing. And then I will show you the last one. So it's a mess free art paint. All you need is all you need is paper, a heart stencil, which I have right here. If you don't have a stencil, all I did was print out picture of a heart on Microsoft Word and then use an X-Acto knife to cut this out. And what will happen is you can make whatever kind of mess you want on the paper. Oops. You can make whatever kind of mess you want on the back paper and then what I'm going to do is I recommend, I think they recommend taping it together. I know, putting it in a picture frame. Um, I'm going to staple it together because that's what's available to me. And then... Uh, wrap it up. So I'm not gonna do a whole lot. Actually, that's okay. So you'll I'm gonna jump cut to the end. So and you're just gonna see a quick little. So this is all I'm going. This is all I really have time for. But there we go. It just says to mom, I love you a lot from Mark. 
Um, and all I'm going to do, because I don't have a picture frame with me, you can go out to the dollar store and get just a tiny picture frame. And I'm just going to staple all this together. And then, boom! Kind of a cute idea. So there you go. So this is the last craft I'm doing myself. What I'm going to do now is take you through, like we did with the Origami Heart bookmark, I'm going to take you through another one and kind of review it, as well as walk you through it. It's an easy so. DIY bracelet. All you need for it is pipe cleaners and Cheerios, and you thread the Cheerios, you thread the pipe cleaner through the Cheerios, and then band it up, wrap it together, and it's a great... Uh, great quick DIY uh, DIY project for younger kids and just anybody really uh, quick and simplistic I love I love the idea I just don't have a pipe cleaner and I don't believe I have Cheerios here so um, there you go so that's it so thank you everybody for joining me on this adventure I hope you had fun um, this was a very interesting and messy video to make but i had a blast doing it if you decide to make some of these mother's day crafts i would love to see them uh tag us on facebook bethany umc youth and children's groups tag the church bethany united methodist church i just in general i would love to see what kind of products i help you create so until then um you'll see us tomorrow for our brand new children's time our children's sunday school series so until then y'all Stay blessed.